Hello gamers! Welcome back to part 2 of chapter 8 in the Venthyr Covenant campaign. We're here with Prince Renethal and Baroness Draca, and we're after the Tithe Lord and the people that he's working with, which includes some Maldraxxi. But we're dealing with the Venthyr part of this at the moment, and we've just Lord seen a carriage run away carrying the anima that's been stolen from the villagers here. After them! We must move quickly. That anima will be key in fueling the citizens for the fight ahead. Deathfang is ready to ride. Board Deathfang and ride with Baroness Dracker to stop the carriage. Even here, I protect the weak. So we get to ride on Dracker's little baby. A little pet Fang. Go get him, Fang! Sorry, Death Fang, go get him, Death Fang! I love Dracker's puppies, so right cool. This get him! To the tithe, Lord. Stay back or die. There's no way we're staying back, you know that, don't you? Get him, Fang! We're gaining on him, get him, Fang! Yay, he stopped him. Let's show this underling the error of his How ways. How dare you delay the Tide Lord shipment! Because we're fighting against the Tide Lord and he's been working with the bad guys, including a lich. And we've got uh, people from the Venthyr and from Maldraxxus all fighting together and being underhanded and nasty and doing bad things to the people, so we have to stop them. Oops, we probably shouldn't be fighting in the middle of the road because those carriages when they come round and clip you, they knock you to the ground, do some damage and stun you, so that wouldn't be good to be hit by windows in the middle of the fight. Ooh, my health's getting quite low. Tracker's less involved in this fight than I was expecting him to be. Oh no, don't get hit by the... Almighty champion. Well done, more walker. Thank you, my prince. That could have been bad if I'd have been clipped by that final carriage, because my health was quite low. So we've got all of our Venthyr rescued people there with the prince. Let's see if we can get a picture of all these people, shall we? See if we can get a nice angle for it, for the screenshot for the video. I mean, how many times are we going to see Prince Renathal and Dracker on the same screen together? After them, an excellent display of the strength of Sinful Enidwana. Let us continue, shall we? Hopefully that was all of the anima and we've stopped him getting any more now. So, to the estate. A window of opportunity has presented itself to us, Enidwana. With his supply line cut off, Varos dead, and people turned against him, the Tithe Lord should be no match for us. However, I must admit I do fear what tools he may have acquired from his Maldraxxi cohorts. His base of operation is just down the road, the Caretaker's Manor, named for the harvester whom he replaced. We We'll meet you there. Quest objectives. Meets Prince Renethal at the Caretaker's Manor, which I think is just up the road from here. And we have some extra forces with us. We've cut off most of his m m anima coming in, and we've got rid of a few of his there is most oh dependable workers. Oh, we'll give them all the anima back. Super. That should make them stronger. The fight to your oppressor. And I do get hit by, by the carriage. See, that's what I mean about the carriages. They can do damage to you, they stun you and they knock you over. So if they got hit by one of those during that fight, that could have been a bit of a problem. Especially when our health got low. So we want to go up the hill here. We're still following the guys. See, they're still streaming up the hill. That's cool. It does show you exactly where we need to go. And if I'm right about where we're going, I think we're nearly there. 
Hey, I missed the carriage this time, and they're still running. Look, oh, this is super cool. They're showing us which way. Yeah, so there, that's the gate that I think we need to be at. And looking at the mark for the quest, that looks like I was right. Yes, there's the prince, and there's Deathfang and Draka. And what can this humble fallen prince do for you today? To the estate. Let us finish what we started. The drowns, the lack of souls, the jailer, all connected. The Tithe Lord. With his army defeated, the Tithe Lord is vulnerable. Now he has but a small contingent to protect him. Let us strike him down decisively. He draws power from these animal wells, keeping it all for himself. If you can hold his attention, I can not only empower you to defeat him, but also disable the wells. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. Speak to me when you are ready to begin. When the time is right, the Baroness will lead our new recruits into battle. Quest objective, slay the Tithe Lord and collect the Medallion of Envy. And we get an Emblem of Renown and the shoulder pads for our Order Hall set. So we're actually going after the Tithe Lord this time. The Harvester of Envy. He continually aspires to climb the ladder of success, even if it means resorting to treason. So yes, the final piece of our Covenant Order, order Hall set here. But not without a fight. So Dracker and the troops are going to keep the Tithe Lord's guys you busy. Me, I have to keep the Tithe Lord busy. So the tithe and Renathor's going to empower me and take out the Wells of Anima to stop the Tithe Lord being powerful so we can stop this rebellion and this treason right now and here. So Renathor comes in and starts on the first you well. Overstep your bounds. Here I have all of the power. Gods! Slay the man! Now is the time to tear these oppressors down! So Draco and her force is going to keep everybody else busy. We fight this guy while the prince takes out the well. Oh, he's going to fear us. That could be slightly problematic, but at least my mirror images are keeping him busy at the moment. And he's not stopped the prince, so that's the first well tile with. Quickly, more water. Slay any in your path to the next well. I sense the power of my own contempt. You are no longer the harvester of dominion, Renathor. That power belongs to the Archlich. You gave my medallion to a lich. Oh dear, the title gave Renathor's medallion to a lich. Now the prince is very, very mad and very upset with the Time Lord. That's actually quite a lot of guys. I think we might be in trouble here, because I used most of my cooldowns on the fight with the Tithe Lord. Oh, let's see how many we can... Ah! Oh, I managed all but one before I got taken out. Okay, so note to self, try not to take all of them on at once. I was actually expecting them to be a little bit easier. Since the main fight was with the Tithe Lord, so I wasn't actually expecting the minions to be too big of a deal but uh, yes I took on too many there all at once so we have to run back oops did I maybe jump off the wrong place oh no I think that's okay as I think we can yeah we can get around this way can't we and in through the other gate I think so Yeah, that's right, the Caretaker's Manor. We've been here for daily quests quite a lot, actually. Right, let's not resurrect next to the winged guy. Let's try and get closer to the guys we've killed. Right, so let's get our health and buffs and everything back. And then we can fight the final one of those four. 
Oh, that's a shame, having the, the little animal things attacking us. That could be a little problem when you're trying to eat and drink and stuff. Yeah, I'm expecting the next well to be at the top of the hill. Is the red stuff coming from? Is it coming from the wells? Or is it coming from something else? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, we need to fight the stoneborn with the wings. Oh, he went down a lot quicker than I was expecting, actually. Those guys are usually the more dangerous of the enemies. I think the red things are coming from the wells, or maybe even the tithe. Oh, it's the tithe lord. Oh, okay. Never mind. I will cut you down where you stand, Moorwalker. Yes, we get that that's what you're trying to do. Quickly, Prince, take that well down before I can't hold him anymore. He's rather tough. Oh, feed again. That's inconvenient, the fear. I don't have a target. And the red thing. The red things are coming not just from the wind garden, but I think from the, yeah, they are coming from the animal wells as well. So there's another one up on that cliff off to the left there as well, because we could see red spots coming over from the top of it. So there's at least one more well to go after this one. Oh, feared again. Sorry, Prince, he keeps fearing me. Any chance we've got a fear ward? The selfie is slowly going down. Looking at how far himself is going down, maybe three worlds to take out, a third of himself at each one. Which means we should be nearly finished here now. Maldraxxus, yep. honor our deal. Slay this would be himself. Is he running to? Who is he running to? Where is he running to? And who is he running to? Good question. He's definitely going up the hill. I can see him going up there. Gone quite far up the hill. It looks like there's a little like terrace of arches up there. And it does look like perhaps he's run out of his own forces because he was asking the Maldraxi forces to help him. So I think it's him and a few Maldraxi and we'll have to see who from Maldraxxus is actually helping him here and who's actually present. So there's a couple more of the apothecary type model of guys here from Maldraxxus to take out and then we've got to follow him up the hill I take it. Hopefully the prince will come with us and help us with whatever's going on for here. And we'll take them out one or two at a time and just head in the right direction. We did run quite a long way, so we'll just have to see how many mobs there are to fight on the way up. Couple more there. Again, Maldraxxi. So yeah, it looks like he's run out of his own forces and now whatever's left is however many Maldraxxi he's got to help defend him here as well. There's somebody cowering there. We haven't got anything to get these guys out. Maybe if we can talk to them. Welcome. You must see my Now they just say that he's been hoarding the anima. They're uh, not going to help us and we can't do anything with them. They're probably here for a different world quest or something and they're still in the area. Just one person on their own here. Avoid the red bits. Stay on the move. Right, we can go up to the corner at least, and then we can see around the corner and see what else is waiting for us. Oh, oh this is where we. Oh, it's the lich. Use the oh, medallion no. you were given, and together we can crush this war walker. It's Kelthazard, no, oh dear. You have served your purpose. Now I must serve mine. 
Where are you going? Just to the next part of the plan, of course. Do try to slay some of these obstacles before they destroy. Ah, serve you right, Tide Lord. We could have easily told you that he's not going to help you. And you are a fool to believe that he would stay and defend you when you are no more used to him. But Kelfers are being involved, that's a really bad thing for us to find out. Definitely not good. I've got the medallion, my prince. Take time to repair this mirror. We need to get the medallion of Dominion back from that ledge. Kelfazar's manipulations have plunged Maldrakis into chaos. What will your Covenant's medallion allow him to do? So he's broken he the mirror so we can't follow him. of unwilling denizens of Revendreth. With enough anima, he might even be able to manipulate the very fabric of the Shadowlands. So indeed, he's become an even bigger threat. He's bad enough on his own, we didn't need to give him any more power. Right, so now we need to return to Prince Renathal at Sinfall itself. So, let's see about a picture with our forces here, and then we'll jump on the bat and fly back to Sinfall and see what the next part of the plan is. But the mirror is probably going to be the way to get to Kel'Thuzad to try and get the final medallion back. That's the Prince's medallion. So that means we've got to get someone to fix the mirror, I think. Hopefully the Prince has got some ideas. I mean, we have met mirror makers and mirror fixers before. Maybe it's going to be those guys. Can't remember the name of the people that we met in the Shadow Ward area. Right, so back at Sinful, so the prince is probably in his normal spot. Let's go turn in and see what else he wants to do now. Darkest greetings, more Walker. The Tithe Lord. An arch lich? This complicates things. Indeed it does, but we do have the Medallion of Envy that we managed to get back from the Tithe Lord himself, so at least we've managed to accomplish something here. The Tithe Lord. A Maldraxxus Arch Lich manipulating our harvesters? This cannot go unanswered. I am pleased that Baroness Dracker is equally eager to strike at Kel'Thuzad directly. General Draven will ready our armies while Laurent repairs the mirror. Be ready and take these as we prepare. We will ensure vengeance is met alongside our new allies and we will receive the emblem of renown and the shoulders for the order hall set which completes the order hall set the unending undefeatable undefiable darkness together so he's going to place the medallion i think now so let's follow him around to it while he places that and then I think that that is probably the end of this chapter. So the final chapter, chapter 9, sounds like it's going to be us going with Draka to take out Kel'Thuzad or at least put him out of commission. Envy. Greed. The festering need for what others possess. Such souls burdened with this must be forced to confront their needs and overcome it. May they exist in squalor and desperation until their need is shattered. So shall there be the village ward. May the Medallion of Envy grant its harvester authority over this dark ward, 
forever in the shadow of Castle Nathria, forever within view of something greater that can never be achieved. That's very dark and foreboding, isn't it? But it's all about punishment and getting people to overcome their sins and their pasts, isn't it? So that, I think, then, is the end of that. So here is the cloth version of the Venthyr Order Hall set. And that's all of the pieces now acquired. I think that's rather pretty. It's one of my favourites of the Order Hall sets, to be honest. So we'll make sure that we're wearing the final piece there. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!